our evil twin won the battle. And we lose our Roman candle here, so uh, we get something that's a little more handy for us in this fight. But um, we'll try and get some more power-ups from our favourite bunny slippers as they come out of here. Now we don't want cash bunny slippers. I mean, when has cash ever been helpful? Never. Money is the root of all evil, remember. That's probably why all the bad guys have got money on them. Anyhow, let's see if we can get some more power-ups here. What have you got, bunny slippers? Twisters? Really? You got anything better? More twisters? Well, I suppose we'll just have to put up with what we're given. So, we're looking a bit uh, healthier in the fight here now. The uh, boss down to about a quarter or a fifth now. And, uh, yeah, we seem to be uh, winning the fight. Uh-oh. Yeah, don't get stuck underneath the uh, entranceway there, Robert. It's not very uh, conducive to your victory. Wow. He really does have a powerful run there, doesn't he? And uh, there we go. And uh, Robert kind of hamming up for the crowds. Decides not to go and stand on the top of the, the doorway there. Decides to stand by it. Is the bouncer now. But uh, he remembers he actually got to another important thing to deal with before he uh, decides to take on a different job. You've got the Baron to deal with once more. So here he goes in his nice uh, poses that he decides to pull for us. What's it going to be now, Baron? What's what's the pose? Oh, it's the arms behind the head. Centerfold pose. Yeah, yeah, and uh, doing that attack doesn't uh, help things, really. My mental image is rather scarred. Please, Baron, stop doing that attack. I don't want to think of you in that way. It seems to be the only attack he actually has. Come on, Baron, I know you can do something different. Yes, that's the one. They stand on one leg and uh, shoot missiles at me. Oh, yes, and we've also got the wrestling slam move going on here. Very nice, but uh, defaulting back to that one again. Well, you can't do it anymore. You don't have a body. But he's still rather dangerous to us. And he's still rather tricky to hit. He's not staying in one spot nicely uh, for long enough so I can actually jump on him. It's very uh, thoughtless of you, Baron. But we are wearing him down and eventually we'll get the chance to uh, defeat him and turn him into a head on a spike. I'll actually try to lead him properly this time. Let's see if we can do it. No, no, that's 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 um, not the way to do it, Robert. That's a bit better. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You see, you lead the target and uh, then the uh, the bullets hit him. Oh, well, never mind. It's all over now and Robert goes and stands on the ropes. All right. Very tiny little platform there, but uh, Robert's got a good balance chip inside him. And he blasts off to victory.
So that is that. Thank you for watching, and see you next game. Curses, my base. I've lost another battle. You got away with it this time, but I won't give up. Remember, Robert, as long as science still exists in this world, I'll be back. Goodbye. Until we meet again. So Aloha's evil plan is thwarted, the cratered planet is rescued, and the first chapter of our story draws to a close. The people are free to live in peace. Now our time is up. So long, everyone! Let me give you a refill, Moose. Mm. Oh, uh, Mr. Baron. What's all this? Won't you come in, Mr. Baron? I guess we messed up. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>